Hello and welcome to something that's going to be slightly different for my YouTube channel. If you've been watching my streams over on Twitch then you'll know that I've done two uh, World of Tanks live streams. Um, and my second ever stream of all time, um, I was hosted uh, by a YouTube and Twitch World of Tanks player by the name of Skill. Um, and I landed myself with um, 1,500 viewers um, out of nowhere when I was having the most crippling technical difficulties of all time. Um, and so my heart was beating out of my chest, but I must say a massive thank you um, and much love and support to Skill for that. Um, I hope that you get to see this at some point and just see that that was really a big booster for me. Um, but without further ado, let's get stuck into it. So one of the reasons I wanted to bring this, uh, this battle to your attention is, is it basically highlights that no matter how well you play and how much you strategize, sometimes when you're in a team of 15, you just can't win them all. Um, and so basically, one of the most important things on... I always get the names wrong. Is this Malinovka? Yeah. Um, one of the most important things on Malinovka is to take this hill position because it means that their artillery, the M40, M43 on their team, can't dink you um, as you're as you're putting shots into them. And if you manage to hold them up, exactly. You see, I put in the chat, take the no. If you manage to hold them up, then our artillery can get shots onto them. So one thing that I should say is I've not played World of Tanks since the beta, really. So I played during the beta and just after it, um, but then stopped playing for um, quite a number of years. So I'm not amazing, but I think I'm slightly better than average. But you'll see there on the map, what the GW Tiger P, um, much love to him because he highlighted exactly where he was aiming. And that is a crucial factor in World of Tanks. When artillery does that, it makes a big difference. Unfortunately, his shell misses. But we already have pumped in two shells, one into an STA-1 and one into our opposing number, the same vehicle as we are. Um, and it looks like we've got ourselves into a pretty nice position to start doing some work. And that's two minutes into the game and we've already got three shots in. Um, and the artillery is still supporting us, as you can see on the map. But, oh, that's a nasty shot. That went right into the floor. I just changed it last second. But are we going to make up for it with a second shot? Yes, we are. And that guy is already almost dead. You'll have to forgive me here for the um, for the percentages and names. I think, I'm not sure if it's just a replay thing. I mean, this is the first time I've ever done this, so I'm completely new to it. Um, but it doesn't look like you have as much control over this kind of thing. And are we going to... No, not quite finish him off. But that STA-1 is suffering. And did you see that? That Object 257 is dead already. What did he do this game? We have been doing absolute work, and he has just been murdered. But big shout out to that M40, M43 for, for pulling in a shell right there. That was a fantastic shot, and with a lot of damage. I wonder if that whole 600 was just from him, because that was pretty crippling, that. Um, but we're still doing some work. We're still trying to hold up. But if you look on the mini-map, look at our team. Our team members are getting swamped and they are slowly disappearing, even though we've already done about 4,000 damage. Um, it is not going well for us. We managed to bounce a shot from the... Is that Object 430? I believe it is. Um, but look at this. We've now got five around us and two behind us. Um, and it's not looking good for us. And we take our first big damage, but we track him and set his engine on fire. Um, and that's 890 in one shot, so... Uh, a bit of a fluke, but um, but I'll take it. You know, you got to take it where you can. And what is this guy doing? What a muppet! What an absolute muppet! We'll take that. And he was one of their best players as well. I think he got greedy. He saw that the swamp was coming, and he do he just jumped the gun a bit early. But we plant a shot into the IS-8, and now look at this. So we are being surrounded. Shots coming in from left, right, and center. We probably got one shot left in us. And where do we put it? And we bounce it off the IS-8. And that, ladies and gentlemen is all she wrote. Oh, uh, T10. Yeah, I forgot to change the name. <laughs> um, yeah, I thought that was a good example of a game where I played okay. Um, and I did everything that I think I could have in the time. That was three and a half minutes and we did about 5k damage. Um, and even with that, um, the enemy team just swamped us. So it's one of those things. It's World of Tanks, right? You, 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 as one of 15, you can only have uh, a certain sort of level of impact there. Um, in any other game, that could have gone completely differently, but um, I thought it was just a good one to kind of, a nice easy one to start off diversifying my YouTube channel. Um, one of the things I'm going to start trying to do is I'm going to start trying to play things like Tabs, um, a little bit of World of Tanks, but obviously still do all my Minecraft and all that kind of stuff, but just like not be too niche and try and like, I don't know, broaden my horizons, if you will. Um, but yeah, so if you got to this point in the video, um, massive shout out to you guys and thank you very much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed that and you're looking forward to more of that, um, please 
please like, comment, and even consider subscribing. Um, yeah, so thank you very much, and I'll catch you again in the next video.